All right, so now we move to the next uh, uh, title, Information Security Risk and also the Management. Um, so what are the risks that involve in, uh, information security? Uh, so first of all, physical risk. All right. Uh, so physical risk is the uh, you know the uh, the physical component where, uh, for example, like the server. Where do we keep the server? Uh, when we archive the uh, backup tape, you know, where do we where physically where is the uh, the location of the tape? Uh, how secure is people to access uh, the the tape and etc. Uh, network risk. Okay, this is about any sort of network, wireless or wired, uh, internet network or intranet network. Okay, system risk is about the uh, uh, the uh, the o the operating system itself. Okay. Uh, information risk is about the information that, that could be potentially being uh, leaked to to competitors or maybe to enemies. Application risk is about the application itself. Okay, uh, management risk. Okay, and also there are some other kinds of uh, risk as well. Um, yeah, so this is physical risk. Okay, physical risk is about device. Okay, or maybe physical stuff. Uh, device theft and destruction. So sometimes uh, um, a simple server could be could be stolen, okay, or maybe a simple PC or maybe laptop, uh, and also uh, it could be also uh, tempered by somebody destruction or maybe like for example somebody um, enter the um, uh, the banks and to destroy the uh, the chaos or whatever you know. Um, and also, uh, and also it, could, it could be the link aging. Okay, we talk about cabling. Uh, it could be bitten by animals, by mouse. Okay, it could be man-made damage, right? So, for example, like the uh, earthquake or maybe tsunami, right? Uh, it could be, uh, it could be building uh, damage or things like that. Uh, network device fault. Okay, uh, firewall fault, uh, router fault. Okay. Uh, network device unavailability due to power failure. Okay, electromagnetic radiation in the equipment room. Okay, so these are the some of the physical risk. Um, information risk is about the storage security. Yeah, so the way how we keep the uh, uh, our information, like I mentioned before, the the tape, for example, if some company still practice using the the to back up everything to the tape drive. Uh, uh, sorry, to the tape. All right. So, where do you keep the tapes, for example? Or maybe uh, you have a, a NAS, or maybe a SAN storage. So, where? How secure is the NAS or the SAN? And if if you were to upgrade to a, a latest model, so what would you do with the uh, the previous storage? Uh, so, so some companies thought like, oh no, I just formatted the hard disk and then just you know just throw it away and uh, th there could be al also a risk all right so there should be a proper way of uh, handling uh, to to this to to retire uh, your your old product okay uh, transmission security yeah we talk about uh, for example if you want to transmit something over internet um, you should you should always uh, encrypt the channel where you want to send something uh, for uh, for example, a like HTTPS or maybe the IPsec, okay, uh, and also the uh, yeah, access security means uh, who are able to access uh, the information or maybe the physical location, uh, biometric or eye scanner, whatever, okay. Um, yeah, so this is uh, one of the uh, example of transmission security. So for example, if this this is the enterprise uh, business information. Right. So if let's say in between here there's a there's no protection at all, somebody might uh, attacker might able to uh, to to grab hold of your information, and then after that temper your information and then resend this back to the headquarters. Okay. Yeah. So that could also potentially uh, create uh, the, uh, the the threats. Uh, this is this is this could be a risk. Okay. Any time when you Try to transfer anything to through internet. Uh, never, never, uh, uh, never, never uh, send it just like a normal plain file. You know, it has to be encrypted. The, and the file itself uh, supposed to be uh, uh, um, secure with some password and things like that. Okay. 
yeah, access security. Yeah, so this is about the uh, unauthorized and unauthorized access try, uh, to the intranet. And this could be a server zone, uh, a company server zone. And some of the staff here, the, the, the level of authority is not up to the level they are not supposed to access. So this is about the uh, access security. System risk, okay, so system risk. Um, so we some some of the system uh, are probably database type, all right. So sometimes it could be due to the configuration security risk. Uh, for example, you did not set the uh, proper IP uh, allow list, uh, so that uh, any any sort of IP address could potentially try to log into the database and try to connect and try to retrieve the data, database information. So this this could be due to man-made, right? Because uh, in terms of configuration, you could you could do it better actually uh, to secure security on the database itself, yeah. So to encrypt uh, the, the the database or not, and uh, and also the security system running on the system itself. So for example, like do you have any kind of antivirus uh, that running that 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 kind of antivirus that can can secure the database? For example, application risk. Okay, yeah. So application risk is um, there are so many kinds, right? We have network viruses. Okay, uh, we have operating system security risk. Okay, so this this one we have to keep patch up to date for Microsoft Windows Server system, even Windows 10 client system as well. Or maybe if you're running uh, some sort of Linux, same thing. We have to patch up to date, or maybe the Mac OS 10 and things like that. So email application, same thing, right? Um, all the email system is supposed to be up to date. Uh, web server, web services or web server security, FTP services, right? Now we shouldn't be using FTP anymore. It's supposed to be secure where, uh, STP, uh, SFTP. Or maybe for the web, it's supposed to be a HTTPS. Uh, we should actually provide secure channel only. And uh, DNS, all right, so we have to keep up to date about DNS, and also some of other business application software security as well. For example, like Oracle or maybe the SQL and things like that. Network risk. Okay, so network risk is about two things. One is from internet, and one is the the intranet itself. Okay, so uh, so most of the uh, uh, recommended is to have a proper uh, firewall. Uh, or maybe a firewall appliances, right? This is about the outside threat. We also need to concern about the inside threat, okay? Uh, because 80% uh, of the studies shows that the uh, uh, the uh, attack sometimes comes from inside rather than from outside, okay? Because uh, nowadays the employee will bring back the the work to home. For example, they bring the laptop back home. And they they bring to any uh, any cafe, Starbucks, you know, McDonald's, and then when they come back, they could potentially introduce the uh, uh, the viruses or worm into. So this is about the network uh, risk, uh, and also Wi-Fi as well. I forgot to mention about that. Sorry. Uh, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is also one of the uh, uh, very important uh, network risk for today. Uh, management risk. Okay. So management risk uh, from the top, we can actually <laughs> discuss about national policy. Okay, so every country should have uh, a regulation about information security uh, that should be applied to every organization. Okay, regardless they are uh, government sectors or they are private sectors. You know, so if it's government sectors. They sh they should have even more uh, policy to uh, to be enforced in in terms of information security. So once we have the national policy, then the next level is the enterprise system. Okay, so enterprise level. Uh, so the m the management of the company, uh, the C level, the people should aware about all the threats, and they should also. Uh, implement uh, some measurements, some policy uh, internally and also they should from time to time uh, engage a third party uh, security audit uh, firm uh, to to assess uh, how they are doing okay uh, and also the uh, management system is about the uh, the system itself 
right? So we should actually ensure that the, the system, the information security system that we're using should be uh, up to date and it has to be, uh, has to have the effective supervision, inspection, uh, and also some, uh, uh, some, you can also inherit some rules and things like that, okay? Okay, so <laughs> this is f according to the statistics. 70% of the enterprise information loss uh, is caused by neg uh, neg negligence, okay? Or maybe intentional leakage by the internal staff, okay? This is very scary. Uh, security technologies are only the uh, the means to control uh, information security. They can only be effective with the appropriate support of the management procedure. Okay, so let's look at the uh, nice graph. Seventy percent. Wow. All right. So, so one of the possibility is the weak security awareness among employees. Right, so for example, if some of the uh, the employees when they receive some some very interesting title of the email, they thought that this is this this could be uh, something interesting, and uh, maybe sometimes uh, the same computer, the same laptop, are shared for uh, company use and also for for private use. So if it's for private use, they have their own, they connect to their own private uh, email server. And sometimes the private email server are not well to patch or up to date, and could introduce the uh, the threats through through that private, and then carry it to the laptop. Uh, malicious uh, data theft. Okay, people steal data, or maybe intentionally, or maybe non-intentionally. Uh, Non-system, non-standard system operation. So maybe let's say, for example, some. Uh, enterprise did not enforce that the 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 cost uh, the co the staff they cannot install any third party application especially those application that could potentially in, in introduce some threats like for example the torrent uh, BitTorrent kind of stuff you know uh, and also a very loose authorization rules which a lot of companies uh, they are very uh, uh, neglect on this you know. All right, so technology only con constitute uh, thirty percent. Okay, so if the management are not aware, they do not enforce a strict policy, then it's, it's actually a very uh, a significant uh, risk to the uh, information security. Um, so, what's the current uh, development of information security? Um, introducing information security development strategies and plans. So each country has introduced its own information security development strategy and plan, which is a good sign. Most of the countries they have their own uh, information security act. They call it. And uh, the next one is to strength strengthening the legislation to achieve unified and standardized management. Um, so this is to define and standardize information security work through the laws is the strongest guarantee for effective implementation of security measure okay and sometimes uh, we can also uh, certain countries can also try to refer uh, there are some laws which are imp implemented by other countries that probably they could borrow some of the uh, the policy and also a next place which is really uh, it's a good source of uh, uh, to to learn about standardization is through ISO and IEC. Okay, uh, so currently uh, ISO we have this uh, twenty seven thousand ISO twenty seven thousand series is actually uh, is is a one of the best known system uh, in terms of the information security. The standardization is already there. Uh, all you need to do is just to 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 go and read this okay it could be something useful for your organization or it could be for the public or maybe it could be even good for the government as well all right so let's talk about some quiz <laughs> all right so let's look at the f this uh, question information security incidents frequently occurred because of security attack methods such as vulnerabilities viruses and backdoor programs um, okay so what do you think um, now I know that uh, most of you guys would want to say um, uh, agree 
but uh, so but answer here is actually false okay uh, there are so many other uh, method uh, the incident that frequently happen could be due to a lot more than this okay vulnerability viruses backdoors um, so we have uh, all sort of attacks you know uh, it could be through network attacks it could be through physical attacks it could be due to um, uh, social engineering attacks you know um, so there are many many other methods in instead of just the uh, the attack through software like uh, viruses and the uh, backdoors and etc etc okay okay so this is just a one simple quiz question and the summary is that uh, we spoke about some development history and also some of the basic concept of the information security so that's uh, for that uh, I conclude our the first uh, chapter uh, thank you